Right, what's going on guys? Welcome to the video. So it would seem the Ramonas in Parliament, led by Tory MP Dominic Grieve, and being backed up by the Labour and Lib Dem supporters' favourite Tory Ramona, Rory the Soy Boy Stewart, are planning new anti-democratic actions to block a no-deal Brexit. And the latter is that deluded he thinks the majority of Britons will fight a no-deal Brexit by flooding the streets. What, like the anti-Trump protests with a couple of thousand people at most? This idiot has no clue whatsoever. Now, not only is the planned actions by Grieve and the other Ramonas anti-democratic, but it is also disgraceful. These low lives MPs intend to block spending on social services like the Department for Work and Pensions and Education, among other public services. I find it utterly abhorrent that these MPs would even consider hurting the citizens of this country because they wholeheartedly want to remain and believe no deal Brexit will hurt people. So to protect people from financial hardship, they want to cause them financial and social hardship. How can you even sit there contemplating blocking spending on public services people rely on because they fear a no-deal Brexit will hurt the people they are claiming to protect? It makes no bloody sense. Now we hear no-deal Brexit will cost people their jobs and cause the economy to crash. What do they think will happen if they cut public spending to vital services? That will affect the jobs of the contractors who help the government provide those services, you idiots. It would also affect millions of people, including pensioners, if they go through with this plan. How is blocking the government paying pensions to the elderly better than a no-deal Brexit? I would love to know the answer to that question. In my opinion, any MP involved in plots like this should all be sacked for bringing the negotiations to leave the EU into disrepute by handicapping our negotiating position. You don't come out with all this crap when we're trying to get a good deal, or do you really want no deal? It doesn't make no sense. Now let's briefly check on the article about Rory Stewart's predictions for mass protests and mayhem. Then we will skim over the anti-democratic shit weasel nonsense from Dominic Grieve. What Boris has said he'll do is that he'll go to the European Union and get another deal. It's very clear the European Union is not going to grant any new deal. He will then come back to Parliament and he will then uh, attempt, I believe, or at least is what he's promised to do, to try to take us out with no deal by the 31st of October. That will be his first challenge because he's built a coalition where he's told uh, quite a lot of people are supporting him that he's going for the softest of soft Brexits and another lot of people are supporting him that he's going to deliver the hardest of hard Brexits. So there will be that first issue for him on how he reconciles the expectations of those people and indeed the expectations of the public because if he were to win, he would have won by telling some Conservative Party members what they want to hear, which is that he can take them out of the European Union and it's not going to be damaging and it'll all be fine. And given that I believe that just, I'm afraid, isn't true, he's also going to have some pretty angry party members and a pretty angry public. The next thing that will happen is that Parliament, which is very much against No Deal, will work with the Speaker to prevent No Deal. Somehow, but, some way. Somehow, some way. But it's not only going to happen in Parliament, it will happen out in the streets. There will be a large public movement against No Deal because the majority of the British public don't want no deal. This is not a patriotic or democratic move. There is no democratic legitimacy for no deal. So we heard Rory then with his usual project fear nonsense. He says he believes no deal will be bad. So you don't even know for a fact that it's bad. You have no clue what you're talking about. It's all just opinion. Yeah, let's cause mass protest because of my feelings on no deal Brexit are that it might be bad. What an idiot. Where do they find these people to even become MPs? Now let's check out the article that was written in response to that video there, before we look at the nonsense from the snivelling shit weasel Dominic Grieve. So the article headlines, Rory Stewart warns Boris Johnson, majority of Britons will fight no deal Brexit. Rory Stewart has predicted a mass movement will flood the streets of the UK if Boris Johnson dares to leave the EU without a deal, in a terrifying warning to the Tory frontrunner. Rory Stewart has warned that a mass public movement will pour onto the streets and risk toppling Boris Johnson if he pushes ahead with a no-deal Brexit. The former leadership contender was speaking out against Boris Johnson's policy that Britain will leave the EU on October the 31st, do or die. In an interview with Channel 4, Mr Stewart predicted how Mr Johnson's first few weeks in power will turn out if he wins the Tory leadership contest. The International Development Secretary said... 
What Boris has said he'll do is that he'll go to the European Union and get another deal. It is very clear the EU is not going to grant any new deal. He will then come back to Parliament and he will then attempt, I believe, or at least this is what he promises to do, to try and take us out with no deal by the 31st of October. That will be his first challenge because he's built a coalition where he's told quite a lot of people who are supporting him that he's going for the softest of soft Brexits. There's another lot of people that are supporting him that he's going to deliver the hardest of hard Brexits. So there will be the th first issue for him on how he reconciles the expectations of those people and the expectations of the public. Because if he were to win, he would have won by telling some Conservative Party members what they want to hear, which is that he can take them out of the EU and it's not going to be damaging and all will be fine. And given that, that that isn't going to happen, he's also going to have some pretty angry party members and a pretty angry public. No, I'm sure he hasn't gone around saying that, to be honest with you. I'm sure he said to him, look, we'll try and get a deal, but if it comes to it, we need to leave or the Conservative Party is going to be non-existent. And then you've got Labour government. The article continues, the next thing that will happen is that Parliament, which is very much against no deal, will work with the Speaker to prevent no deal somehow, some way, which is also what we heard in the clip a minute ago. But it's not only going to happen in Parliament, it will happen out on the streets. There will be a large public movement against no deal, because the majority of the British public don't want no deal. No, mate, the majority of the British public just want it over and bloody done with. They're sick of it. It's getting to the point now where it's a joke. There is no democratic legitimacy for no deal. And there is also no democratic legitimacy for blocking no deal. So what are you talking about? The International Development Secretary has previously said he would not serve in a government led by Mr Johnson. Good. Resign. You shouldn't be in government anyway. You don't follow the will of the people. According to Yahoo Finance, Mr Stewart is in discussion with a new Tory group coordinated by Chancellor Philip Hammond and Conservative backbenchers Ken Clark and Dominic Grieve, aimed at countering pro-Brexit European Research Group. Earlier today, Make UK, the trade body, has called Boris Johnson and Jeremy Hunt's no-deal pledges the height of irresponsibility, with zero understanding of the consequences. And that's the end of the article there. So this complete joke thinks that the British public have the time and can afford to take time off work to go and protest a no-deal Brexit. I'm sure recent polls actually suggested that more people favour a no-deal Brexit than they do remain. Now, I know polls can't be trusted, but they are all we have to go on, unfortunately. You heard in the short clip that I showed you that Rory plans to use the Speaker, John Burko, to block no-deal Brexit, meaning he is ready to ignore democracy and miss yet another Brexit date and essentially end the Tory party. He must really want Commissar Corbyn off to get into number 10. Now on the subject of Burko, that takes us on to our second story of this video. He blocked Dominic Grieve's plot yesterday to starve the next PM of funds if they pushed for a no-deal Brexit. But The Sun is reporting today this plan has only been stalled and is likely to come back around. Now let's briefly skim over this article ridiculing their desperate attempts. So The Sun article headlines, Ramona MPs charged to take no-deal Brexit off the table is a grievous act to wreck democracy. That's actually a correct headline. I fucking hate the sun, but go give it to him there. That's right. If there was a prize for political hypocrisy, Dominic Grieve would win it hands down. Now, I don't agree with that. I'm sure there is a multitude of these politicians that could easily win it hands down. They are a joke after all. Grieve, the Tory MP for Beaconsfield, is a leading Ramona. And like other Ramonas, he has spent much of the past three years whipping up panic about the dreadful impact Brexit will allegedly have on our country. A no-deal Brexit, or crashing out of the EU, as Ramonas dramatically call it, would be especially bad, he says. For three years, the Brexit bashing set have spread mad fears about how leaving the EU without a deal will turn the UK into a hellhole in which medicine will run out, food will be scarce, and there could even be violent unrest as the starving masses struggle to survive. Because, yeah, we're not leaving the EU, guys. We're leaving the fucking planet. We're going to have no food. There's going to be no medicine. We ain't going to have air or oxygen or water either. We're going to be floating around in space. Because Brexit means we're, we're, we're essentially moving our island into the middle of the Atlantic, yeah? To nowhere. Bloody ridiculous. Make no mistake, they say, a no-deal Brexit will plunge the UK into chaos. 
No, a Corbyn government will plunge the UK into chaos, but let's not get into that here. So Grieve came up with a plan to ensure no deal never happens, which until last night could have sent a wrecking ball right through Parliament. Before Speaker John Burko decided not to let them be put forward, Grieve and his fellow demolition dame, Labour's Margaret Beckett, of course Labour had to be involved, tabled amendments to the way government spending is authorised in Parliament. In a nutshell, they would have threatened to plunge the UK into chaos if any future Prime Minister pursues no deal. Yes, that's right. The latest wheeze of the Brexit-phobic elite is to prevent the alleged chaos of a no-deal Brexit by bringing about their own kind of chaos instead, which is exactly what I said earlier. The stalled plan, stalled because it can still be retabled today or in the next parliamentary sitting, targeting different departments' spending, gives new meaning to the word hypocrisy. It proposed to make it impossible for the government to fund certain public services unless it promises to ditch the idea of no deal. Under the amendments, four government departments would have been prevented from spending money if the government pursues no deal. Those were the Department for Education, the Ministry of Housing and Local Government, the Department for Work and Pensions, and the Department for International Development. So you want to block the Department for Education's funding, so you want to stop kids from going to school, because that's going to help England, isn't it? That's going to help the UK in, after Brexit. You want to stop the Ministry of Housing and Local Government. So what's that? People's bins being collected, people getting housing, the Department for Work and Pensions. All these Ramonian Labour MPs to complain about universal credit and how terrible it is. They actually want to stop it completely. They want to stop all benefits to everyone. Shut down all the funding for the Department for Work and Pensions. Get rid of all the pensioners' pensions. Get rid of everyone's money. Stop all, all tax and things like that. That all goes through the Department of Work and Pensions. Absolutely unbelievable. These people are fucking stupid. How could, how could you even consider that as an option? Oh yeah, no deal Brexit might hurt a few people, but you know what we'll do? We'll attack the most vulnerable people in the country. We should have called ourselves the BBC. They all act the same, don't they? Now, these departments are central to everyday life, as I've just said. Imagine the government was physically and legally prevented from spending money on schools, housing, transport, or on people's pensions. There would be mayhem. Yeah, Rory, you want to see riot riots in the street? You enact them stupidities, mate. Even Burko knew that that would never be a good idea. Parliament would get mobbed like what happened in, um, what's it, Hong Kong recently. There would literally be mayhem. The article continues. Bus routes grind to a halt. Schools wouldn't be able to give kids what they need. Older people would have problems with their pensions. Um, anyone that relies on the DWP would have problems, which is everybody. Benefits are paid from the DWP, as far as I'm aware. Well, they definitely was before. They might not be now, but they used to be at least, and I expect they probably still are now. Greaves' plan would have brought about the very thing that he and other anti-Brexit moaners have been warning about, a national meltdown. Now, of course, these people haven't got the intelligence to think past their own fucking nose, have they? As a spokesperson for 10 Downing Street said of Greaves' Ramona plot, any attempt to deny vital funding to Whitehall departments would be grossly irresponsible. It's a fucking disgrace. It's not irresponsible. The money is for crucial areas like schools, housing and welfare, the spokesperson said. To cut this money off is to play politics with people's everyday lives. This is extreme anti-no-deal plan was clearly aimed at Boris Johnson. Of course it is. Boris derangement syndrome and Brexit derangement syndrome are one and the fucking same. Johnson has said that if he is elected as Tory leader and therefore becomes the next Prime Minister, he will take the UK out of the EU on October 31st, do or die. It's not do or die, it's just do or do, because we ain't going to die, we're leaving the EU. We're not leaving the planet, I've said it multiple times. It would be nice to leave with a deal, he says. Yeah, it would be great to leave with a deal, providing the deal benefits us and doesn't benefit Europe, and we're not paying them ridiculous money. Because if we're leaving them, we are not funding them. We've spent the last 40 odd years funding them. Enough is enough. But if Brussels refuses to negotiate, Theresa May's withdrawal deal, it's not a withdrawal agreement or deal, it's a fucking surrender document and keeps trying to foist a bad deal on us, then we will walk away with that one, he has promised. And so he should. It's the correct thing to do. The anti-Brexit wing of the establishment hates the idea of us making a clean break with Brussels, even though 17.4 million of us voted to leave three years ago. And so they will do anything to thwart it, including bringing about a government shutdown. Greaves' plan would hamper essential government work and potentially inflict misery on huge numbers of people. It confirms how ruthless the Ramona set has become. 
that there is nothing they will not do to prevent us from walking away from the EU. We know that these people are not actually worried about the well-being of ordinary folk in Brexit Britain. I've said this multiple times. They don't care about anybody but themselves. It's all their political aim that they're interested in. Their party's ideology or their own ideology in some cases. This is how they have justified their Brexit-phobic antics over the past three years. As an effort to save Brits from the consequences of a no-deal Brexit. Yet it is clear now that they are more than willing to make people's lives more difficult if it helps them achieve their political aims. That is because their overarching obsessive aim is really just to stop Brexit. That's all they care about. The Grieve Wrecking Ball plan shows what those of us who believe in democracy are up against today. We are up against a political class that will do almost anything to prevent UK regaining the independence that millions of us voted for in the 2016 referendum. They will whip up the politics of fear, they will demonise the voters as stupid, low information, xenophobic, they won't just la label them there, they'll call them racists, xenophobics, anti-Semites, they'll call them all kinds of things, they use all kinds of words to describe them. And they will let Boris know that they are prepared to mess up government spending and by extension everyday life if he goes for no deal without parliament approval. It is a kind of political blackmail. Do what we want or we will shut down government departments. If it does not make its way to debate, if it does make its way to debate, MPs must reject this cynical, dangerous, anti-democratic plan and stand up for the right of the next Prime Minister to play hardball with the EU. The vote for Brexit, the largest democratic vote in UK history, must be upheld. However, much of it offends Dominic Grieve and other Ramonian MPs. Good. I'm glad it does. So there, you see in that article, I'm sorry I read the whole thing out, but you needed to see it all. These Ramonas literally know no bounds in their anti-democratic endeavours, though. They do not care about the average person. Their political aim is all they care about. Political blackmail, as I said, is the right term for this action. It amazes me how these Ramonas complain when Boris announced he would prorogue Parliament to get Brexit done as not democratic. But then, when all their fear-mongering attempts fail, they want to shut down the government's ability to provide social services to people because they don't get their own way. Now, both Dominic Grieve and the other Ramonian MPs should all lose their seat in the next election as they are not ready to carry out the democratic will of the voting public if it conflicts with their own personal stance. To call for mass protests and shutting down public funding is an absolute travesty. You're all in these positions of power to represent the British people, not push your own ideas and left-wing activist-style blackmail attempts. I've said in previous videos certain Tory MPs are left-wing now in their politics. These two seem to be confirming that. Both want to push the sort of thing that I would expect from Labour and Lib Dems or the SNP. Now I'm going to end the video there guys. Remember to let me know your thoughts down in the comments section below. If you want to see more of my videos, consider subscribing and clicking the notification bell to be notified when I upload new content. Remember to like and share the video as it helps the channel a lot. And I'll see you all in the next one.